Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tara love messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what are their intentions towards you. So if you're romantically involved with someone, even if you're like in a full-blown relationship or if you're just loosely involved with each other, we want to see what are their intentions, okay? What are they hoping to you know, achieve? What are, what, what are they hoping for the outcome to be? It is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just be mindful of that. If you are after personal reading with myself, feel free to reach out and connect. My email address will be listed below. So once again here, the reading is intended for all Earth energies, Taurus, Virgo, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Let's go ahead and get stuck into it. The Nine of Wands. The Knight of Wands. Oh wow, we've got a lot of fire here. The cards are just flying out. So some of you are dealing with a strong fire sign, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, strong air energy is coming up as well. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and possible water energy here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What are, what are their intentions towards you here? Well, I feel like you're... I, I can see why you're curious because I feel like there's a lot of confusion around your person's energy. Or I feel like your person is very inconsistent with what they say and what they do. Now, I feel like there's quite a strong attraction, quite a strong sexual chemistry or energy that exists between the two of you. Um, and I feel like that's the very glue that's holding this relationship or holding this connection together. Nine of Wands, they are coming up as a bit of a wounded soldier kind of energy. So I feel like your person has been hurt in the past and they're keeping you at a bit of a distance because they're scared of history repeating them itself, okay? They are someone who's a little bit suspicious as well. So coming into this connection with you here, they're actually asking the same thing here. And I wouldn't be surprised if they're checking out other videos, you know, to see what are your intentions uh, and motivations towards them because they're coming up as a little bit suspicious they can't quite figure you out just as you can't quite figure them out it's not to say that they don't believe like they don't trust you here but they do have trust issues okay let's just put that out on the table they do have trust issues I feel like they've been hurt in the past they've been uh, betrayed they've been deceived here and especially by those closest to them so you can understand why they have trust issues, right? They are a little bit blocked off. They are a little bit closed off here, okay? But I feel like over time, I do see this energy bringing down their walls, okay? They have that within them, but I feel like they need to build up this connection a little bit more. So yes, they are a little bit closed off. They are a little bit guarded. Now, the thing is, there is a lot of room for growth within this connection. So you can, you know, build on what the two of you have. There's so much more room for you to expand and, you know, build on this connection. Notice all the sprouting wants. So that's a good thing. However, what needs to happen here is this person is very, their energies like this coming up as a little bit restless and very much unsettled. Now, the Knight of Wands is someone who's hard to pin down. So I don't know if you're dealing with a bit of a player, like someone who is um, not very serious in their approach, or I feel like someone who's open to... This person may have other options around them. They may have other choices or other options. Or maybe this person is, you know, not willing to settle down and into a relationship and, you know, enter into a relationship because for fear of missing out, you know, what's on the other side? What if the grass is greener on the other side? What if there's greener pastures elsewhere? That kind of energy. So a lot of you are dealing with the fluctuating presence, someone who's in and out of your life, um, someone who I feel like maybe is more after casual arrangement and more after fun and games than a serious relationship. That's not to say that a serious relationship can't be on the cards in the future, but for the time being, as the energies are being emitted right now, it's not what this is. So if you're hoping for a serious relationship with someone who's coming in and out of your life, who's a fluctuating presence, who's inconsistent, you know, who's hot and cold, on and off, someone who's very closed off, it's not happening, not now, not in this energy, okay? So that's. I feel like that's important for you to know. It's important to know what it is that you're committing to at the end of the day, okay? I don't see this person, I feel like this person is going to continue with this very restless type of behavior, okay? I feel like this person is, 
I don't know that they're ready for a relationship as well. Um, the Ten of Wands tells me that it is a little bit one-sided here. Someone he, and I feel like it could, maybe it could be your energy, but someone feels as though they are putting in more work than they should. Okay, a, re a relationship is a two-way street. If you're driving down a one-way street, you're going to hit a dead end, right? So it's important to have that equilibrium, that balance. And someone here is putting in a lot more work that they have to. And the reason why they're doing it is because they're overcompensating for their partners or their energy's lack of efforts, okay? And that's important to know. And whoever this is, which I feel like is you here, is going to eventually, you cannot carry, you cannot sustain this 10 of ones bundles by yourself. The weight of this will crush you. So you cannot carry the weight of the relationship. It's not healthy and it's not what a relationship is. So if you're doing all the work here, ask yourself, why is it that you're putting in so much work for someone who's not reciprocating or for someone who's not doing the work? You know, for someone who's not... Like, why are you loving someone who's not loving you in your return? Why are you putting in so much effort for someone who's not, you know, showing up and putting in the same effort for you? For someone who's not paralleling or matching your actions here. So there's a little bit of thinking that I feel like needs to needs to take place here because some of you, you're over-applying, over-committing and over-extending yourself you will burn out. Okay, Queen of Wands, I feel like, and the Six of Swords is encouraging for a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. I know she comes up as a bit of an icy figure, and I get that your person is very hot and very cold the next day, and I get it. It's a little, it's very confusing, right? Not only that, it's emotionally draining, so I understand. I understand why you're here. You're wanting to know what are their intentions, but you need to know that they don't have a lot of clarity around their energy. And again, I feel like their intentions are more about having a great time, a good time, rather than, you know, staying in it for the long haul. And it's important for you to know, um, you know, what this is. Because I feel like once you identify the type of a connection that you're involved with, or once you identify the type of energy you're involved with, it's going to make it easier for you to make a decision on whether you should stay or whether you should walk away. It'll make it easier because... Ultimately, I feel like it sort of will make that choice for you, if that makes sense. So for those of you that are confused, call them out. Call them out on their actions. Hold them accountable. Just honestly be, let them know what you want and ask the same of them, okay? And then see if you guys, you know, are sitting at the same table. See if you guys are on the same wavelength, on the same page here. Six of Swords see there's definitely emotional turbulency or a lot of um, turbulency within your energy here. I'm also getting that maybe your person isn't entirely, or maybe this is you, someone here has a lot of emotional baggage that is weighing them down. Or someone here still feels, still feels some sort of association with the past that they need to let go. So maybe it's an ex- that still lingers, maybe it's feelings for an ex, maybe it's just emotional baggage that's weighing them down. There is a bit of a drained energy that's coming in your uh, coming through the spread. Maybe it's the fact that this person is the ex, or this person, you know, is this fluctuating presence in and out of your life. And maybe the Six of Swords is telling us that at the end of the day, you know what you have to do, which is cut ties or um and uh, walk away but it's hard for you to do that right it's hard for you to do that so maybe the six, the reason why the six of swords here is saying that for those of you who can identify with that and we can resonate with this ha like walking away may be hard but staying in this type of relationship or this type of connection especially if it's not what you're after is going to be harder still okay the four of cups here also tells me that there may be someone else there's three of cups in the foreground there's also a lot of distraction with the person's energy i just don't feel like they're ready for a long-term relationship and i feel like their actions are actually communicating that message to you so i also want you to sort of you know just give that a little bit of thought a person who's coming in and out of your life a person who's not committing a person who tells you that they are you know they want to put a title or a label to it or they just want a, um, they're just seeking a casual arrangement i mean you know i feel like you have your answers right there right i don't think you can turn a player into you know um, a stable partner at least not if this person, at least not if the energy is just not willing to do that, okay? If they're not willing to get pinned down sort of thing or if they're not willing to enter into a relationship. If they want to continue to be this fleeting, flighty presence, that it's not like you can't twist their arm into the submission. So the Four of Cups, definitely someone is very distracted, very in the head, like very confused as well. And I don't know that this, this person takes you for granted. I don't know that they know what they have 
in you and I don't know that they're appreciated as well. Alright guys, and these are your messages. I know they might have been a little bit hard to hear, so hopefully I didn't scare anyone off there. Um, but I feel like the truth, the truth is important and the truth might hurt for a while, but a gentle lie is going to hurt forever. So keep that in mind, guys. Um, Alright, and there you go. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing, commenting if the section is open. I don't know. Um, for those of you interested in personal reading, feel free to reach out and connect with me. Otherwise, thanks again, guys. Bye for now.